if we could try and rein this back in. Okay. That was an embarrassing performance in a game they didn't need, but they right. somehow managed to make everything worse by playing everybody and playing that bad. Yeah, and if you're going to play everybody, you you expect to, to blow the doors off of the other team, so to speak, right? right. Yeah. I mean, you, you should. But the exact opposite happened. Mm -hmm. So this is the worst thing that, that could have happened to you. It reminds me back of the old day. With, remember the Bengals did that against us with the Jets? Yes. And we beat them 37-0 and then yeah. smoked them again yes. the next week? That's what's going to happen here. Like, I'm not – they, they should blow out from on paper. They should kill Tampa Bay. They should have killed Washington. Oh, they won't. The lack of professionalism by this team, I'm just telling you, that is absolutely awful. They play down to their competition. Hey, guess what? That's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. That's a freaking horrible thing. Yes. That means you lack it. You, and you're supposed to be a great team. How the hell this team won 12 games? Absolutely blows me away. I have no idea. How, how about this they elite defense they have, Rex? Oh, but, no, but remember, they're mad at me because they said they're soft. This whole team's soft. They see that they are. Hey, show some professionalism. Show up every week. This is a, this is a you know a 17 game regular season. Mm -hmm. You don't just show up for for 10 games or you know whatever. What, show up for every one of them. You know how you don't play bad in a game that means nothing? Right. You just don't play at all. There's exactly right. oh, I, believe, there I believe you were searching for a friend on Friday. Yes. They agree with you. And guess yeah. what? I did. I, I just looked at this game and, and thought to myself that sometimes when you're playing these teams like the Washington Commanders, who's now starting <laughs> this new rookie quarterback, who you understand is going to come out and play his butt off. If you're the Dallas Cowboys, you have to be more prepared than this. Than this. You do have to be more professional, yeah. professional than this. And now they have to find a way to go into that building and say, we need to erase all of the negative we did last week and look at the positives of the things that we have done this season. And that's extremely hard. And if you're the Dallas Cowboys, you limp into the playoffs again. You're playing against the greatest quarterback of all time. You're playing in his stadium against a team that drummed you week one, yep. that believes they can beat you. You cannot go out and perform that way. And they were stuck at a point where they knew they needed to get their players off the field, but they had played so terribly yeah. that they were scared to remove them. Them. This is yeah. a problem headed into next week. A huge one. And, Dan, you walked in this morning, mm. and what was the first thing you said to me about the play of the quarterback yesterday? Uh, that's the worst game I've ever seen Dak Prescott play. And, candidly, this is the worst season I've ever seen Dak Prescott play. The consistency with where the football goes into the wrong place has to be disturbing and alarming. What can account for this lack of understanding where the football could go? I, I think we've talked about that a little bit this year, like the pressing, the, the trying to feel, and I feel like he thinks my offensive line's not great in protection, so I have to get the ball to my hand so quickly. The only guy that I really think is going to do something outside is CeeDee Lamb. So there's this feeling of trying to almost be perfect on every, simple, every single play. But RC, the ball goes to the wrong place way too much for a guy who's too proven yeah. as Dak Prescott. And I would say this, like, as a totality, as a football team, what do you guys feel good about for the Dallas Cowboys? The defense has fallen off. Yep. They got massive issues opposite Trayvon Diggs. Massive, guys. Micah is the only guy on the defense that scares you right now, in my opinion. And who's the guy on their offense that scares you? I'll ask you guys, defensive oh, guys. Oh, you know I mean, me. What's one receiver? It's Tony, uh, Tony Pollard. It. So, to me, it's Tony Pollard. Yeah, it's, it's, so, he's the one guy yeah, that scares you. Yeah, to me, it's Tony Pollard. Yeah. I, I want to ask the defensive guys a question because I think I heard Jason Garrett say this on TV last night, that they're a much slower defense on grass than they are on of course. turf. That thing, though, like a real thing in the NFL? That's a real thing because on the road, you're slower. Your pass rush is always a tick slower on the road. And when you play on grass, it's even sense. slower yeah. than that. But can I say one thing? Go. Greeny, I got to say this. Go. The best thing for Dallas is all phases stunk. Like special teams, yeah. offense, and defense. But I feel Rex the after like two is, months. No, but the best thing about it is there ain't no finger pointing because you stunk also. We all do. Every yeah. single group. So they got to figure it out quick. Look, we have all week long to get ready for it. And again, it's our game coming Monday night. But you got the Cowboys 
going to play at Tampa and Brady. And if you've got Brady, it's impossible to say the Cowboys can't lose that game. That feels like a fire everybody game if you lose, right? Yeah. That feels like for the Cowboys, if they lose that, they go oh, one oh, and done in this playoff scenario, that feels like a fire everybody game. Are they going to get knocked out of the playoffs again in the first you round? You know what? I know what you want me to do, Greeny, and I'm not going to do it. What is that? Because you know what I do think about the Dallas Cowboys? Of any team, they have the widest range of where this thing can go. If the Dallas Cowboys played extremely well and ended up in the Super Bowl, I actually wouldn't be surprised. I would be and if, oh, and if we're sitting here Tuesday and they are already at home, I would also not I, be surprised. I would, I would not be shocked if the Dallas Cowboys get it together. Now, is that a higher probability than them losing to Tampa Bay? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is this team does have that sort of talent, yeah. but they have to make it happen on the field. Super quick. I'd be shocked if they got to the Super Bowl. Simply put, if the Tampa Bay offense lives in play action pass, they will beat the Dallas Cowboys. Those teams played each other, remember, the first week of the season. It feels like about 25 years ago, and Tampa won. We thought differently of them then. I'm not sure what we think of the Cowboys now. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.